This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Uh, this is the last lecture on uh, Chapter 5 of the free lecture notes, which is Management of Receivables and Payables. Uh, and in the earlier lectures, I've been through uh, all we need on Management of Receivables. Let's now have a quick look at management of payables, where, as you'll see, well, it's much less likely in the exam, uh, but also uh, there's not an awful lot you can be asked. Um, because as far as the management of payables are concerned, um, surely, from everything we've said earlier, uh, we want to delay payment as long as possible. You know, but if we pay it early, it's going to lose us cash or increase our overdraft and cost us money. The longer we delay paying, the better. Except, of course, we don't get ridiculous. I mean, if we start trying to take three months' credit or something uh, from our suppliers, suppliers are going to refuse to pay uh, to, to suppliers. And, of course, if we can't get supplies, then we've got a problem. Um, so, we do want to take the full credit. If suppliers allow a 30 days credit, we do want to take the 30 days. The only reason we might choose to pay sooner is if they offer us a discount. Look at example four. A supplier offers a 2% discount if all if our invoices are paid within 10 days of receipt, currently we take 30 days and therefore don't get the discount. Well, it's just like simple discount for receivables. Effectively, we need to work out what the annual effective discount that we're getting is. And so, suppose uh, we received an invoice for 100 If you get an invoice for $100, at the moment we take 30 days and we pay the full 100 we've now got the opportunity of paying within 10 days, in which case uh, we'll get a 2% discount on the 100 We'd therefore only pay 98 and so if we don't take the discount and pay later, it's effectively costing us an extra $2. We could have paid 98 in 10 days, delayed. It's costing you $2 on that 98. And so the effective cost of delaying It's two on every 98, which is 0.020408 or 2.0408% over what period? Well, it's 10 days up to 30 days, so over 20 days. So I said it's the cost of delaying if you prefer it's the effective benefit of paying early, no matter which way you look at it. Uh, but anyway, it's 2% uh, over 20 days. The question wants the annual effective cost. So the effective cost per annum. Just like I explained when we were doing receivables, 1 plus the yearly rate is 1 plus the period rate, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 8, to the power, well, the number of periods. Uh, now, I haven't said, I did say the examiner uh, always says how many days to assume in a year. Well, again, I'm going to assume 360 days, in which case the number of periods 360 over 20, which is what? Uh, 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 18, 
is to the power 18, which gives us what 1.020408 to the power 18 is 1.438. R, therefore, is 0.43856, or 43.86%. Well, that is the cost of not taking the discount, or if you prefer, it's the benefit of taking the discount. Uh, which is enormous. I mean, uh, I haven't asked for a decision here, so we don't know what the um, uh, overdraft int interest is, but um, that does seem to be enormous. Uh, I, I don't think we would do that. I think we would definitely take the discount. Uh, this, remember, is the effective cost of not taking the discount, of delaying. So not taking the discount is effectively costing us 44% a year. All right, let's do one more. Incidentally, um, with payables, it can only be simple discount. You see, there's no, that's the only possible choice. It, it, your supplier, you owe money. All right, maybe they offer a discount and it's your decision whether to take it or not. But the factoring doesn't enter into it. And neither does all this business we had um, with receivables of saying, oh, 40% we pay in one month and 20% we pay in two months and so on. Irrelevant. With payables, it can only be a simple discount. So let's look at the very last example. Company currently takes 40 days credit on the basis it's a free finance. That's what they think. Annual purchase 100,000, uh, overdraft interest 13%. Payment within 15 days would attract a 1.5% quick settlement discount. So again, for every $100 that supplier invoices us, we can either continue to take 40 days, Um, we'd have to pay the full hundred dollars. Or alternatively, if we pay in 15 days, a one and a half percent discount, one and a half, we'd only pay 98.5. And so again, looking at it the other way around, we could pay 98.5 if we choose to delay we'll have to pay an extra 1.5. So the effective cost of delay is that difference of 150 on every 98.50 that we choose to delay, which, in, uh, which is Point zero one five two two eight, or if you prefer, one point five percent. However, that's over a period of the difference twenty five days. We want the effective cost of delaying the annual cost. So the effective annual cost of delaying. Uh, 1 plus the yearly rate, 1 plus the period rate, to the power, I don't know why I put brackets. Uh, this time, I know I haven't typed it and I should have done, and the examiner will, this time I'll assume 365 days in a year. So it's over a 25 day period, how many periods in a year? 365 over 25, which is 
14.6. So let's do it 1.015228 to the power 14.6. Is one point two four six nine. Are therefore point two four six nine or twenty four point six nine per cent? So exactly the same with different figures in example four, but this question wants us to make a decision. Should we pay sooner to take advantage of the discount? And the overdraft interest is 13%. Now, I don't know, for some reason, well, I think, I think we're all the same. With receivables, we can't make silly mistakes, but it's very obvious, otherwise, when you come to make the decision, with payables, it's such a shame to have got the right numbers and then to make the wrong decision, which is so easily done. The bank overdraft interest is 13% per annum. Should we take the discount and pay early or shall we carry on paying late? What should we do? Well, the answer is we will take the discount. And you can look at it either way. You see, if we delay, the longer we delay, we save overdraft interest. So by delaying and not taking the discount, we will save 13%, but it's costing us 24% to delay because we lose the discount. So um, it's costing more to delay, we wouldn't want to delay. Or if you prefer to look at the other way around, uh, pay early and it saves us 24% the discount effectively. Paying early would mean increasing our overdraft which would cost us 13. So saving 24 at a cost of 13, well, it, we will take the discount. Okay, so there we are. As far as working capital is concerned, we've dealt now with inventory, we've dealt now with receivables and payables. Now, the last one to deal with, next chapter, next set of lectures, is the management of cash.